Hello Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading. Thank you for joining my channel and viewing this video. I do hope it's going to be insightful for you to see what's potentially coming up for the week ahead. Um, please keep in mind this is going to be a general reading. It is primarily focused on love though, so um, this will be in relation to matters of the heart. And of course, it can be for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Um, or if you're dealing with one of these signs romantically, this reading can be for you. So let's have a look and see what's coming up for water signs. This week. Okay, so we have a strong Pisces that has come up. The Queen of Wands is often read as a Leo. Um, so there's a Leo or a Pisces coming up for some of you. But the Pisces has come up twice here. So this is this is very strong. It speaks of a very emotional week, potentially. Um, you do have the Ten of Cups. So this is like this beautiful reunion or reconnection that's happening for you. Um, how exciting. You can see these lovers embracing. Um, this is the moon here. So this is ruled by uh, Cancer. So uh, Cancer, some of you may be meeting someone or having a passionate affair. Um, you might be reconnecting with your past. The moon can be your past or someone you're still attached to uh, emotionally. It could be that you're holding this person once again. So this is really beautiful. But the Ten of Cups um, speaks about forever. So even if you're not Cancer, you could be Pisces. Okay, we've got um, Scorpio hasn't come up, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, the point is, what I'm trying to make is, is that the Ten of Cups is something about a long-term commitment or a long-term potential. So you could be currently entering into a partnership that may be in its early stages here with the Page of Pentacles, but it would appear that it has the potential to be for the long haul. Okay, Ten of Cups is wanting to settle down. So you've either got someone who wants to settle with you uh, or you want to settle down with them. You're very you're crazy about each other. This is absolutely beautiful. Look, there might have been some hardships with the Five of Wands and the Hangman. Um, it could have been that it's taken you a long time to get to this place in your relationship or it's taken you a long, long time to find this person and find this kind of connection. But it's worth it because you're feeling things maybe you've never felt before. Um, and this is your subconscious that's really trying to speak to you here. Um, now, the Hangman and the Five of Wands... Um, the Five of Wands is when we can oftentimes get carried away with other people's opinions and other people's thoughts. So, Water Signs, you may be taking on the advice of friends, family, parents. Um, and it's very easy to become conflicted when different people around you are telling you different things, giving you different advice. You should do this. You shouldn't do that. You should reach out. Um, you shouldn't be there. Or you should have done this for her or for him. So just be careful of the advice that you're getting because it can cause some inner conflict. And that Ten of Cups is telling you to listen to your heart, listen to your subconscious and listen to what those inner feelings are telling you what to do because, you know, we're guided by our inner self. Um, we're guided by our hearts and our subconscious. So there may be a message. There may be something that your higher self is trying to tell you about a situation or about a person, um, you know, and you don't want to sort of get yourself in this position, in this hangman position, you know, it's, it's no fun being in the hangman position because we're, you know, you, you might be feeling confused or you feel like a lot of people are telling me different things, but it's not really what I want, but I'm doing it to please them. So you have to ask yourself, are you doing it to please the people around you to appease them? Or are you doing it to appease yourself? Because obviously there's love that exists here. The King of Cups is is like this Neptune, you know, Poseidon figure. Um, and I feel like with him being in the ocean, this speaks of like the depth of love. So, you know, you are really feeling emotions really deeply um, this week. So there may be something very profound or something very emotional going on around you, water signs, and it's activating a lot of emotions. You know, it might be tears of joy. It might be tears of sadness. It might be tears of happiness. Um, regardless, it's a very emotional Thing that's going on around you and around your person um, and you know it's it's activating a lot of emotions within you so you know try to take it easy um, there may be something that happens here that essentially brings you closer to your person and isn't that lovely to be in that vulnerable stage um, with your significant other I do want to say that the moon can also rule the past. So some of you have a Leo Cancer or a Pisces coming in from the past. Um, 
It's almost like this person has been watching and waiting for you to make a move. Uh, or it could be you, um, water signs. Maybe you've sort of been watching and waiting for someone to do something, to act, to reach out, to follow you, to ask you out, to invite you on that date. You know, you've sort of been watching and waiting. And a part of you maybe really wants this, but you're like, you don't know how to go about it, maybe, water signs. Um, there may be a little bit of ego involved here, so maybe this is another reason why you're sort of staying back and watching. You don't want to hurt the ego or you don't want to swallow your pride. You don't, Maybe you don't want to admit something because you feel like it's embarrassing because at one point you were saying one thing and now you want to maybe say something else. And the, the Queen of Wands is all about keeping up appearances, okay? She, she shows face uh, and saves face. So what I get with that is that you might be... Um, you might be, you know, your, your pride is getting in the way of, of you doing something. It's fire energy and fire is a very prideful energy. It's a very proud energy. Um, and I feel like maybe the Queen of Wands is telling you, you've got that Leo. You know, you're trying to appear confident and appear a certain way, but underneath that might not be what's really going on, water signs. It might be a very different story from what is um, really going on here with you. So, but this is really beautiful. I think you're building a very nice connection here and or you've got someone here who, you know, you want a forever with, you want commitment. You're starting to think more about the long term now, whatever that is for you, whether it's finally settling, settling down in a relationship, maybe it's having children, maybe getting married, maybe it's moving in with someone, maybe it's even just being monogamous and, and just having the one person. Whatever that commitment means to you, there's someone here who is activating that within you and it's making you want to do these big milestones. And that's fantastic because it shows how emotionally invested you are in this person and likewise, how emotionally invested they are with you. You know, sometimes we can get confused and we don't know ourselves what we want, um, but it's important not to let other people's opinions sway us too much because I think what your priority needs to be uh, is you. You need to listen to yourself and your heart and what you really want. And it's okay for people to give you advice around you. You know, they, they probably only want what's best for you, um, but it might not always be what's right for you or what's the best step. So I think there's a few things we need to take into consideration, but maybe there's a message here that you need to sit with your feelings and embrace everything that you're feeling, water signs, and feel free to express it. Be careful of the ego because it'll prevent you from being your true self. So, you know, ego can do this to the, to the best of us. Um, but I will leave it at that, Water Signs. Thank you again so, so much for tuning in. I do hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hopefully we'll be in touch very soon. So thanks again, everyone. And bye for now.